In this problem, we're asked to find the mean, mu, for a binomial distribution, and we're given that n is equal to 50, and that the p, the constant probability, is equal to 0.175. And what you need to know is that the mean for a binomial probability distribution is given by the formula n times p. So using the TI-83, we simply input n times p and hit enter, and we have our answer 8.75. We're asked to round this to the hundredth decimal place, so the answer would be 8.75. Here we have a similar problem where we're asked to find the standard deviation for a binomial probability distribution. The variance is equal to n times p times q, where q is 1 minus p. Since the standard deviation is the square root of the variance, we'll take the square root of n times p times q. And again, turning to the TI-83, to find the variance, we have n times p times q, which is 1 minus p, and our variance is equal to 31.1375. To find the standard deviation, we'll take the square root of this number. And on the TI-83, the square root is over the x squared button. So we'll go to the yellow second key and then to the square root. I could type in 31.1375, although a nice shortcut is to use the input of the last answer, which is over the negative sign. So Clicking the second yellow key and answer, we have the square root of the variance, or the standard deviation, which to the hundredth place is 5.58. And that's how you can easily use the TI-83 to find both the mean and standard deviation for a binomial distribution.